everyone, this is Mrs. Jackson. I'm doing a quick video focusing on one of the skills in IXL under the grade Algebra 1, and that is S24 write equations of parallel or perpendicular lines. A lot of you have been telling me you're having trouble with this section, so I'm going to demonstrate one problem on perpendicular and another on parallel lines. So this first one is uh, on perpendicular lines, we've got an equation of line P, which is y equals 2x minus 7. We're looking to write the equation of line Q. We're told that line Q is perpendicular to P and passes through this point 8, negative 6. The so the important thing to note about um, perpendicular lines is that their slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So I'm going to abbreviate this perpendicular lines. That's a symbol. Um, their slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So, hopefully um, you remember that opposite in math refers to sine, and reciprocal is um, basically the flip of the numerator and denominator in a fraction. All right, so we've got this line over here, line P, y equals 2x minus 7, and that is in the form already, y is isolated, so that is in the form of slope, y-intercept. And in this case, then, we have a slope of 2, and we can consider always slope to be a ratio. And so for our line Q over here, this perpendicular line, we're looking for a negative slope, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of 2 over 1, which would be negative 1 half. So if I go ahead and relook at the slope y-intercept form of a line, so far we know this much. We know the slope is negative 1 half. We just don't know what that y-intercept is. And if we look up here where we have a point that we know this line Q passes through, we've got 8 negative 6, so we know at least one location here of y and one location here of x, and we're going to go ahead and substitute those in. So I'm going to put negative 6 here, negative 1 half, and I'm going to substitute 8 in for x, and I'm going to solve for that y-intercept. So I've got negative 6 equals negative 1 half of 8 is a negative 4 plus b, and now I'm going to isolate B by taking the inverse operation, and I have a y-intercept of negative 2. So if I bring the whole thing together now, I have y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. Now here's uh, the tricky part of IXL. It's very um, particular on order of operations and how you enter an equation. So you can either, I'm going to show you two different ways, you can enter this as y equals uh, parentheses negative 1 forward slash 2, that means the division, close those parentheses, x minus 2. That's an acceptable way to enter it, and you're showing that this number here, negative 1 half, is uh, basically the coefficient in front of that x. Or you can write y equals negative, and you can use the 1 if you want to, or you can drop it, negative 1 x forward slash 2 minus 2. That's an acceptable approach. But what you cannot do is uh, write it this way. So you cannot write y equals negative 1 forward slash 2 x minus 2. The reason for that is in order of operations, you're telling the computer that this x is in the denominator here along with the 2. Um, so this is why a lot of you are probably doing everything right to calculate and write this line, but you're um, losing the points based on how you're entering uh, this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put this. That is not an acceptable way. All right, great. Let's take a look at an example of a parallel line. Okay, 
We have a line G, its equation is y equals negative 4 ninths x minus 10, and we're told that we have a parallel line, line H, to G that passes through a particular point here. So how can we write the equation of this parallel line H? All right, let's start out with our line G. We have y equals negative 4 ninths x minus 10. Again, we have already our y is isolated, so we can read our uh, slope right off of the equation here, and we see that line g has a slope of negative 4 ninths. So if we take a look at line h, we know that um, parallel lines, I'm going to, you know what, actually I'm going to go ahead and write the the um, symbol. The symbol is two straight lines up and down vertically. That means parallel. So parallel lines have the same slope. They have equal slope. So in this case for our line H, y equals mx plus b, we know this much. We know negative 4 ninths x plus b. So our, our task here is to find that y-intercept again. Well, we have this point here, negative 2, uh, 2. So we have a y, and we have an x, and we're going to substitute. So I've got positive 2, and I've got 4 ninths, and I've got negative 2 here, plus b. Now, as I mentioned in class, I don't like to propagate more and more fractions, so I like to eliminate the fraction. Uh, it just makes your, your math easier. So right here, we've got a, a 9 in a denominator, so get rid of the fraction. Just get rid of it all together. And we can undo that division of 9, or division by 9, I should say, by multiplying by 9. And when we do that, we have to do everything, including our y-intercept over here. So I've got 2 times 9, which is 18. Of course, our... 9 divided by 9 reduces to 1, which is why we did it. Now be careful here on my writing, because I, I just crossed through that negative, but I didn't mean to. So we've got negative 4 times a negative 2, which is a positive 8, plus 9b, 9 times b. And I go to the unknown, go directly to the unknown, look what's around it. We've got addition and we've got multiplication. We need to undo that division, or sorry, that addition first. So we've got 18 minus 8 is 10. Combined opposites reduces to 0. And we've got 9b over here, positive 9b. I guess I didn't really need to put that plus sign. And we're going to undo that multiplication with division. And, of course, anything divided by itself reduces to 1. And so our y-intercept is 9, or sorry, 10 ninths. All right, so bringing it all together, we've got a couple of different ways that we can enter this equation. Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and go put our slope here. So if I wanted to enter this equation, um, remember, we've got to be really careful here of how we're telling order of operations into that computer. So I have a couple of different options. I like this first one. That's why I keep going to this first. Negative, I'm going to use my parentheses, negative 4 forward slash 9. And I'm going to close that up to say this whole fraction here is the coefficient of x plus 10 forward slash 9. That's one way you can enter it. And I guess another way you could enter it would be y equals, if you didn't want to use the parentheses, you could say negative 4 x, because that x is up on the top, it's in the numerator, forward slash 9 plus 10 forward slash 9. Okay, I hope this video helps. Thanks for listening.